Man, Crow Cop, tell me that, man. Let him know who we got on the platform, my guy. Yeah, Lizzy and his bitch. Man, how you coming, man? How you feeling? Man, I'm chilling, my guy, man. Man, you a little controversial figure, man. You know Straight that. up. Uh, let's start at the beginning, man. Let's get your story, man. Like, let them know where you from, bro. I'm really from ABM, but you know, TW, Jarrow City, we all the same shit, though. You know, but I come from 61st to Cottage Grove. That's where I'm from, though. But oh. right here, where we at, Everhart, this my shit, too. Okay. It's the heart of the trenches. It's my second hood, yeah. you know? Yeah, you got me in the trenches, my you guy. You know that. <laughs> you know Straight that. up. So, all right, let's start here. So, you say you were originally from ABM. What, yeah. That's 61st of Cottage? Yeah, that's Crack Gang. Okay. Crack What's game. over there? That's like shit, the gas station, jewels, shit, daily. No, I'm saying like what type of, you know, like what, what type what of hood game? that is. Shit, yeah. you got uh, you got us, shit, you know, 800 was down the street and shit. They don't, niggas don't even be right there no more. But that's our shit, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. Yeah. That, that's our shit. From 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 Cottage to Everhart. From Cottage to Everhart. We got it. From Cottage to Everhart. Yeah. My dead homie. For sure. So, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanna address this. Like, in the comments section, a lot of people say, like, y'all are some shorties and Lil Mikey got y'all out here bad. Like, how do you address those type of Like, look, opinions? Right, look, look. Folks don't got us out here bad shit. We grown, man. We do what we wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what the fans be talking about. They, yeah, they say, I was just reading that shit. Like, you got good, you got good comments, bad comments. I don't be really paying attention to none of that shit. I just read the good shit. I don't read all that lame man shit. Need to be talking about. I ain't trying to hear that shit. Man. Yeah. A it's lot, like, of, a lot of people with them opinions. They don't, they never even step they, in the trenches. They, they won't even come out here you with know, you. They don't even know how this shit is. This shit get trenches, bro. Yeah. This shit get, this shit get deadly. Yeah. For real. So let's talk about your upbringing, bro. Like, uh, how you come up? Like you say, you from ABM. How did I, you end up over here this way? You know, just shit, like, school. Yeah, my OG had moved over here. What like, shit, I have been over here like ten years. OG moved over here like 2012, 2013. My dad, but I've been here ever since. Yeah. I've been here ever since. Yeah. So who who what's some of the people you grew up with over here? Like um you got any Shit. notable figures that the fans I, know that you grew up with over here? Who I grew up with, you know, I I, I grew up with Lil Tay. They know who that name is, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Lil Tay, that's my crowd, man. You no, know, yeah. she like that, Lil Tay, D Money. She like that. Real steppers, bro. Yeah. Rest in peace. Both of them guys you passed away. Both yeah. of them passed away, you know that. Yeah. What what about uh Gusto? Is Gusto, Gusto like I got that title on me. Yeah. I got, that shit, I got that shit tatted on me, Gusto, oh, man. Yeah. That's my brother, man. That's yeah. my first real homie I lost. Uh, yeah. I lost him when I was in jail. Yeah, how old you was? Well, I was like, when I was like 13, 14, I lost Gusto. Damn. Damn, bro, that's that's crazy. Like, So you just named like three guys that you know that passed away. Like, how It's many? more than that, for I ain't gonna lie. I, I got a couple friends that's gone. Four, I ain't gonna lie, for us a couple, couple follow members that's gone, that's still living through us. You know how that shit be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right now, for the, for the most part, we just we just living this shit up. You know, folks, folks don't want, want us to be right here being sad and shit. They don't want us to do our shit, pop our shit, yeah. and that's what we doing, popping our shit. You know. Yeah, for sure, bro. Making this shit make sense. Nah, for sure. I respect it. So, I met your brother, Milo. That's your blood brother, right? Yeah, my blood brother. Yeah. Been through everything together. That's my slime, man. Yeah. That's my slime. Yeah, I remember one, once a point, folks ain't even want me in the hood. Yeah. Hey, man, fuck is my brother doing down here? Man, I ain't trying to hear that shit, shorty. I'm with this shit. Mm. My dear, um, that's my blood, though. That's my heart, man. I'm a team that's big, bro. They yeah, from the same hood, man. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. So let me ask you this: Like, how was it for y'all growing up? How did with the household? Y'all had know. mommy and daddy in the house, or how I was? I ain't have my daddy. Ain't okay. my, we met our daddy. We like 13, 14. What well, I was like 13. Folks like 14. We met our pop. Yeah. Shit like that. But growing up together, I ain't gonna lie. That shit was fun. Like you know, I had all my siblings with me. My mama always been up. My I, how can I put it? Like my my grandma was my mama and my mama was my daddy. That's how that's how my that's how it was me growing up. Mm. My grandma passed away. This shit, this shit ate me up, I, you know? Yeah. A lot of shit I wasn't feeling. No, I respect that. I, I could relate to that. My grandmother passed away too, but it was I was a lot older than you, yeah. so I could imagine the toll to take on the young man, you know? Yeah, yeah, that shit yeah. crushed me. You ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Locked my grandma in my face, man. Yeah. That shit hurt. You sitting in your face? Hell yeah. Are you witness that pass, brother? The one in the room trying to wake her up. She ain't wake up. Damn, Tastes bro. Old. Damn, that's sad, brother. So, so, so death for you, is like a common thing. You seen yeah, that a lot. I ain't a lot. I've been seeing death since I've been in this shit, bro. I lost my grandma, granddad, auntie, homies. I lost everything. Yeah. My brother. 
You you a young guy though, man. Like you, you look like you are a teenager. How old is you? Know what I'm asking. Eighteen, man. Oh, so you grown? Yeah, you're in the dark. Yeah. I went eighteen and shit. Yeah. So, you know, what you like? Fresh eighteen? You gonna be nineteen soon? I'm gonna like, be nineteen February. It'll oh. be nineteen February. Okay. Five more months. Okay. Yeah. So you like halfway there? Halfway you know that. mark. You know that. Yeah. So when was it that you had jumped out the porch and got out here and seen it was real out here? I ain't gonna lie, fool. When I really jumped out the porch, I was 13. I was, no, I was really 12, 13. 12, 13. Mm. Fool, no. Yeah, like, man. niggas be saying all that. I ain't gonna lie, I was 12, 13 when I was in this shit. Told big ass glitch on this. I was really out here, boy. Yeah. My dear homie. Nah, for sure, man. So, let me ask you this. Like, you see a lot of people around y'all area. Like, you got Duck up the way. You got you know Dutchy Young, the FBGs. You got um, Lil Mikey, he rapping. I'm glad that shit. His brother just shot a video right here where we at. Young, we just shot a video. That bitch turning right now. Yeah, I seen that. Around. Young be going crazy. Supposed to be losing this shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. What's your relationship with Young? That's my boy. It's my brother. Yeah. Old school. <laughs> for sure. Old, old school. school. Shout out old school. That's my brother. Yeah. He know what's going on. Yeah, I fuck with Young. Young solid, man. So, uh, okay, so you see a lot of people having like some type of success, they coming from the trenches, like I seen you in the studio going crazy. Yeah, look, you told me you wanted to rap at first, I but I see you on tapping. You know that, I'm not a rapper. My brother Lil Mikey be pushing us to do that shit, bro. We be in the studio, he be man on B5 rock, man. Get your ass in that booth. <laughs> so we, I, I get in that motherfucker booth, it's, it speak my life, you know? Yeah. And brother like that shit. Yeah. So you know how that shit be. Oh, no. Yeah, you be talking crazy though. I'm gonna give it to you. I ain't gonna even lie to you. And you was off the dome with that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I said, sure, I'll let shit be off the top. I don't sit down and write. I ain't, I don't do none of that. I always shit off my mind, bro. So, for a lot of the people in the comments section saying, like, Mikey got y'all out here bad, he <laughs> really pushed you to do something positive. Brother, hey, look, brother really out here trying to make a motherfucker rich. He wanted us to be rich in the trenches, you know? Mm -hmm. Folks wanna be rich. That's oh, all we on. We on, we on money time. Money, money, money. Mm. If it ain't about a dollar, we don't want to talk. That's nah. all we trying to do is get some money, get out the trench. Nah, I respect that. I respect that. That's real shit. So let's talk about you. You mentioned Lil Tay being your crowd. You growing up with Lil Tay. Was Lil Tay big bro, or he all the same age? Like Lil, like, like you like, looked young. That's too. my brother. Like like that's like my big brother. You know, that's my heart. Like we like I don't like we okay. We got big brothers in the hood. Like you know. You might you might see you might see us call them big bro and shit. That just that's just how it go, you know. Yeah. Niggas that that look out for us, you know. Yeah. Niggas that help us, shit like that. I'm the only nigga you go. Any nigga that's older than me, you will see me call me big big bro. That nigga to help me. You get what I'm saying? Nigga that did something for me. Other yeah. than that, I ain't call no nigga big bro. I ain't got no big bro. Look, take that was my crowd. That was my mans. You know. Yeah. That's that's the nigga I grew up with. You know that's the nigga I came up with in this shit. Shit like that. For sure, I respect that. So now we okay. So a lot of people look at this area as the T Dub. You know what I'm saying? So now then I see people say Gusto Gang. I seen Billy shout out Jody this F I B shout out shout out my G's my double G's and my T Dub. Yeah, you, you know we was T Dub before we was G G. We mm -hmm. always we always was T W before we was G G. Yeah, T W go always be a thing. Cause mm. it was them first, my dear grandma. Yeah. So y'all the youngest of the T.W. We the, we the youngest out of the crowd. Okay. Like they, we the youngest. I, okay, for sure. So, the, so the, can you talk about Gusto? What was your relationship with him, and what that, was he like for the people that? That know? my boy. Folks was a, folks was a lovable person, man. Like, folks used to, you know. Yeah. Folks used to really be in the church. That was my boy. I ain't a lot of miss folks. Yeah. So yeah, you got any like stories or memories you could share with him, like uh, how his personality was for the fans? That's gonna tell used to be a little funny, little goofy motherfucker. Man. He used to be always trolling and shit, always playing funny folks. Always was happy, shit like that. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be. I remember I ain't want to go to the crib one day. I'm on the block. I'm a shorty. How old you? I'm, I'm 18. When I ain't, when I ain't no, I'm saying when you, like, when, when you ain't want to go I, to the crib. Well, I was like 11, 12. Youngin'. I was young as hell, bro. I ain't want to go to the crib seeing four them on the block doing that shit. <laughs> Popping that shit. Hell no, I ain't going home. I'm out here. Mm. My dead grandma, boy. Out here. Every day, every night. That's how it was for me, though. Like, I see big bro them out here having fun for them to be on Everhart. They got this bitch busted. Mm. I ain't no going home, boy. Say, so I'm out here. I'm out here. I ain't no going yeah. home. So it was an attraction to the, the, the guys that was hell out there yeah. and all that, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I love that that shit. Fulham used to have all them parties and shit. Fulham, no. This, all right, right here, this is a famous spot. Yeah. If you don't know, you know, my dear grandma. Yeah. This is a, 
Niggas know. Yeah. So this, this before when you said you was out there admiring your big bro now, this before you took any losses. Yeah. 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 So so how do so can you give me your mindset after you taking the losses? Is it like is it fun still? Is it, is it got real? You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, give me your like, mindset. I, like first loss, like that shit. That shit, like all right, okay, this shit real. Ain't no more playing. Motherfucker gotta move accordingly. Mm-hmm. Motherfucker gotta you know. Motherfucker gotta have them bases on them. Motherfucker gotta. Folks say, no, we ain't going there, we ain't going there. Mm. Shit like that. When you first lose your first homie, this shit get deep. Yeah. This shit, right. go, this shit it's go touch you. You go, you go, you go, you go, you go get older, you go man up. Yeah. Now you know you in the streets. This shit ain't no game. You say you was about 12, 13 when that happened. When I lost Gusto, what I was like, th- I was 13 when I lost Gusto, I was in jail. Damn. 13 years old. Can, no can, you, mind, you mind if I ask what you was booked for? Booked for some little goofy shit. Yeah. Shit I beat. Oh, okay, you beat it. Yeah, yeah, I beat that shit like rock. Oh, okay, for sure. That was your only time being incarcerated? Yeah, now I had got buffed for a little pipe. I'm fun on you. I only been locked up like two, three times. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, that shit ain't no fun though. For that the for the shorties that show age that think that this shit the game, can you get them some type of Stay in school for the youth, man. Stay out last in school, man. Don't yeah. give y'all mama no hard time. Cause y'all getting this street shit, this shit gonna get ugly and this shit gonna get hard. Half of them young niggas that y'all around, not gonna be the fifty percent of the niggas that that you seeing in your face right now. I'm gonna take them niggas, not go be here. When you get in the streets, yeah. my dead homie, boy, this shit get real. Nah, that's real, little brother. This shit get real. Yeah, yeah, that's that's real. So let's talk about Tay. Like you know, Tay is a real prominent figure from over there, especially in the area with the T Dubs. You know what I'm saying? Like he's- Tay, that's the one, man. Folks is all that. I ain't gonna lie, besides all that image that they paint folks see his folks is a goofy, funny motherfucker. Mm. My dear homie. He was a serious dude yeah, too, though. The yeah, fans know that. Hey, look, niggas know about empty folks. I ain't gonna even say too much. But we ain't even gonna speak on the shit. We gonna speak yeah. on the positive. For sure. Folks, that's he a funny motherfucker, man. He always like to play all that, folks. For sure. Look, playful little motherfucker and shit. Yeah. Shit like that. That shit you do is a don't see don't do. Yeah. Don't be running through this motherfucking hood, bro. Fucking run through <laughs> that. That's tweaking. Fuck. You running through this hood? Converge running through the hood, yeah, tweaking. Yeah, man. He got tweaking. Yeah. All right, so. I let me let me ask you this now. I seen um I, I before Tay passed rest in peace to the little brother. He was I was gonna get up man. He was one of the first ones yeah. I was gonna interview. He was locked in with me. He was it was just a matter of me getting out here and rest in peace to him. He passed away before we could do that, but he you know was that. I was in communication with him. Um, um one time I had seen him he used to be going live with A Hundred spoke on A Hundred used to be down there, or whatever, whatever. So it was like uh the guy Lil Fat and uh Lil Twan. Yeah. Nah, how old was you when you seen when they allegedly crashed out when they caught that case where they you know it's, it's big even, on the internet everybody forgot, know about it. I forgot how old I was. Them niggas crashed out. like three, four out. years ago, two, three years ago. It wasn't too long ago. But I probably like 16, 17, yeah. yeah, I probably like sixteen. I said like two, three years ago. Probably like 15, 16, one of them. Now I'm sure you seen that live when they was yeah, on yeah. there with Tay. You know I see, I see all better live. Uh, Brother be trolling, yeah, fuck. Yeah, they was he, trolling like he that. He that one, bro. Like, every motherfucker don't like that man, fuck. He was real calm, though. It was like, y'all be calm as hell, like tweaking about Yeah, like, fuck. Like, that, just, that just his personality. That just how he was. Yeah. He a calm motherfucker, fuck. He ain't that type of nigga that's gonna be all on live. Yeah, run up, run up, run up. Folks go get straight to the point. Come outside. Where you at? Yeah. Come on. Shit like that. Yeah. Free the real, man. My yeah. damn free, free DP, free TY, man. For sure. Free look the real, man. For sure, look the real. Free them that Jaro City, the real you speaking of? Yeah, you know that. Free yeah. uh, Lil Reggie. Yeah. Free Jaro City, Lil Reggie. That everybody be tying up. For sure. You know so, that. so uh, when, when you seen them, Hit the news or whatever for the incident that happened with them with the uh, the, the, the 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 truck or whatever the Brinks truck or something like that. When you seen that allegedly they uh, fat slimed out his cousin mm-hmm. Dewey Foe. Did you know Dewey Foe? Did you know those guys personally or just like you just seen them? You just heard. Their I ain't know no Dewey Foe. I just heard his music. Right. Yeah. So what was your mindset when you seen them get booked for that? It's like damn, y'all are tweaking. I'm like, damn, bunch of fucking crash out. That's how you viewed it? As a Fuck shorty. The crash out. Damn. Damn, okay. That's some crash out shit, man. We ain't doing none of that. Yeah. So how you feel about um, you know, I seen a, a male lady that got killed up here recently by like a fifteen year old boy. He just recently got arrested for you. You you, you seen that? 
How you, them be out here flying the lie. How you feel about the guys that be targeting like these women that's like innocent and shit like that? I ain't gonna that. lie, that's lame though. I ain't gonna lie. You don't get no cool points for killing no innocent people. Especially mm -hmm. no lady. That mm -hmm. shit lame as hell. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know none of that. I don't, or I don't respect it. Yeah. I, I wanna say this when we did the hood vlog, we had walked through. It was old, it was an older woman. She walked through, she had said something to us. Y'all, yes, ma'am. I said, man, y'all respectful. Yeah. You know what but I'm saying? I had be, highlighted you that. You better be respectful to the elderly women, man. You know, they was here before us. Yeah. They was here way before us. So why not be respectful? I got mamas, I got aunties, shit like that. You know? Yeah. So it's only right to be respectful. Nah, that's real shit though. Yeah, you ain't saying nothing wrong. I'm just trying to get your point of view of everything and all that. So okay, so you say you spoke on Tay like so you say his personality he was a real fun guy, whatever, whatever. How did you? Where was you at when you heard about him losing? You know him passing away and all that. Like, and how did that affect you mentally? Because I know if that was your boy, like how you explained it, I know that it probably had a toll on you. You know, took a toll on you. When I lost folks, I was, I was in the crib. That shit, that shit hurt me. I ain't lying to. You. How you get the news if you don't mind me asking? Just pop somebody called you or something, it was like, damn, yeah, man. Look, shit. Yeah, sad, man. So you being you being Lil G, you being out here, man, like, you know, you see J Man pushing peace, you mm -hmm. see people pushing peace. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't really respect that, man, but it's like you don't see I that. ain't pushing no peace. I lost real friends this shit. I ain't. My bad, J Man, but B keep on doing successful what you doing, but fuck that pussy piece moving. We ain't pushing peace, we pushing heat. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you. Lord have mercy. That ain't funny, but it's like how you said that. That's, that all, was crazy. That's all I'm telling you, bro. Like, we ain't doing none of that. I lost it. Ten years niggas to this shit. What? Mm. That was ass tweet. So uh, let me ask you this. Have you ever left the state of Illinois? Have you ever left Chicago? Like and visited other places? Hell no, nah, I ain't been nowhere. I've been here my whole life. Mm. I'm finna leave though. Give me one moment. You got a plan to leave? Give me one moment. I'm be on be at LAX. Give me one moment. Oh my mom, you going to LA? Yeah, give me one moment, man. Yeah. You going to Hollywood, huh? You, you finna go? That. Yeah. Give me one fucking moment, man. I'm gone. Nah, I, I fuck with that. That's what's up, my guy. So, okay. You, you speaking on Mikey pushing your pushing you to drop the music and all that. Like, when did you realize that you had the talent to just come, come I ain't gonna up? lie, before Lil Mikey came out, before Lil Mikey got out of deal, nigga. We been talking about rapping, but we was never trying to push that shit. Mm. When he got out, folks put us in that stool. That's what it was. We got in the studio. Mm. Like, have a side quest with Lil Mikey for just running around the city. For, hey, y'all wanna go to the studio? Fuck, we in the studio. I need that. My dear brother. Nah, that's what's up, though. My first song I got with my first two, two, three songs, I got two songs with Lil Mikey. They on the way. And mm. I got one by myself. So you only got three songs? Yeah, I got like three, four songs. Like three, four. I'm gonna need you. To, I'm I gonna got four. To, I got four. I'm gonna need you. To, I'm gonna need you to lock in and make some yeah, more songs, bro. I'm finna, I'm finna lock in real song, bro. Yeah, for I'm sure. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the studio this week, though. Yeah, that's what's up. That's I'm what's up. Go back to the studio this week, man. I ain't mad at you. Okay, so okay, we talking about coming up in the community and all that. Like we talked about Gusto. Who, it was another guy you named named D. D Money. D Money. Yeah. What was to Folks him? Folks is different, man. Folks is different. When, when did you lose him? Did, okay, it was Gusto, then it was him, then it was Tech. Nah, wait, 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 hold on, wait. Nah, I think what it was, Gusto. What, who I lose? Gusto. Then I lost, then we lost Jerk. Oh, uh, Richie me? Jerk? Yeah, yeah. You know? oh, okay, so that's why Billy shine y'all out like that. That's you know who y'all that. got. Yeah. yeah, that's folks. Jerk is yeah. Mrs. Folks from right here. Yeah. That's hard, TWSB, nigga. For sure. Okay, Sack Boy. Know that. For sure. My dear homie. So what about TB and Poppy? Like, did you know them personally? Like TB and Poppy, like, phone them, like, like yeah, phone was doing they, they was doing their thing, like, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I was around, but I went around phone them, you yeah. know? They was a little older. Yeah, yeah. I went around phone them. I, I was around a bit, though. Yeah. The phone them was doing their shit. For sure. I was, yeah, I was around. So, Chicago being the originators of the diss and the ops, the, the drill music and all that, you see a lot of different states and, um, um, Regions they adopting the sound, they adopting the the lingo, they adopting everything. You know what I'm saying? Like who that. you fuck with the most? That's uh, that's that's doing. Come how y'all coming? Like you know, you got Philly, you got Florida. I ain't gonna lie, Philly popping they shit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Yeah. Philly, the lady out there losing they shit. I I get them they pop. Philly, they shit, they shit trenchers. Yeah. They shit trenchers. You fuck with Philly? Hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Who, who next? Who next? 
Florida going crazy too. They caught yeah. me. Yeah. Florida he is out here losing their shit, bro. Yeah, so said, you said Florida losing their shit too? Yeah. 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 Who you fuck with in uh, Philly though? I don't really fuck with too many people. I just like. I'm talking about on the music side. I don't be fuck with nobody on the music side. I don't really like. I don't know. I don't know, bro. It just. I just like how they is out there. They out mm. there trenches as hell, bro. You just can relate to it. Hell yeah. You're like bro. that. That's how we coming. They out there. They be losing this shit. Okay, so let's talk about Florida, cause for, I feel like Philly is treacherous like y'all, but I feel like Florida took it to a whole nother level. They ain't really, really. What's that too, state? They be gathering money. Jacksonville. Now that stabbing shit. What that's the UK? Oh yeah, yeah. Man, they going crazy in the UK. I a lot of big ass, long ass machetes on my dick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bitches be like oh, this long, I'm gonna take some more. <laughs> <laughs> bitches. The knife work crazy, ain't it? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> you get that arm for you, that nigga stabbed that nigga a hundred times. I was, I was just this. I'm like, no, no, yeah, that's crazy. No cap. Nah, the UK I ain't gonna lie. They be losing their shit. They got bodies dropping left and right for. Yeah. Now they shit be busting. I ain't gonna lie. And they got knifes for they come through. Huh, yeah, with the nigga with the hawk is crazy. A knife. It tell you right inside of your throat. Dead. Yeah. That that's that's to me, I ain't gonna lie, that's a little more different than that Blake G. I ain't gonna lie, that that heart. No, that. You good? Nah, I'm looking at one of the guys. All right. He don't even see me right here. Yeah, let him know, let him know so he don't get the tossing at us. Nah, he right here. <laughs> okay. Just let him know we cool, like. Hey Sai! What's up? What you on? I'm shooting my little interview, you good? I'm right here shooting my interview. I'm shooting my interview. Crop and court tail. Crop and court tail. Yeah. I'm pop. Yeah, I'm right here popping my shit real quick. You know that. <laughs> For sure. For real, you good in the hood, it look you like my guy. That. Yeah, right in front of him, I'm here. Yeah, nah, for sure. I don't want, you know, it look, you know it look like we trespass. This is the <laughs> cut right here of our mama. All right, so you say you giving it to the UK. They getting treacherous with the hawk, with the, yeah, with the knife yeah. work on anything. But I'm saying, like, okay, so when you see the Jacksonville guys, though, you see the shit happen with Fulio and all that? They fucked him up. Damn. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, fuck. Give me, give me your opinion when you see that footage and all I'm that. Like, you... Oh my homie, I'm in that bitch with phone. I'm like, damn. They done beat the what he was in a dodge or something. They beat that bitch down. Yeah, they circled the, they, 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 they bought that bitch chop the switches. Yeah, they flank buddy. No cow, fuck. Yeah. That's a real drill, right? Hey. That was a real drill. Hey, he already say fuck that nigga. <laughs> Do you feel like they crashed out or no? Nah? Yeah, they some... crashed out because they went to jail. They, I ain't gonna lie, they definitely did crash out. Well, it be about that shit, folks. They had to be getting caught too fast. Yeah, yeah. Shorty, Shorty, know the one little nigga who he did, he did a drill and his mama caught. Was he tweaking or not? Nah? Yeah, he was tweaking. Yeah. And mama caught him. And he took it back to him. He crashed. Oh, look, you got to think about it. Look, look. For one. Mama don't know what's going on. Some mama don't be knowing what be going on in this shit, bro. So if the police come to mama like, yeah, we just saw a uh, first degree murder happen out of your car, what the fuck you think your mama gonna do, boy, if she lost? Yeah. Your ass going to jail. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Straight up, y'all here losing this shit, bro. All that, no. We uh, not doing none of that. So it's a shorty from the, uh, he probably about your age, he probably a little, about a year or two older, his name Von off 1700, he popping right now. You fucking with shorty music or you ain't really yeah, that? I ain't gonna lie, shorty, shorty, so you got some little dish shit. Yeah. You got some dish shit. So a lot of people, they'll, they'll, uh, categorize, they'll look at his, his appearance because like, he got glasses and all that, <laughs> and they'll be saying like, he ain't no savage. Do you, uh, do you, do you, do you, do you look at I don't at, know, for, you can't, you can't, you can't judge a book by his You can't, my brother for you, yeah. A, a nerd to kill your ass, boy. Yeah, I was. I had did an interview um, with uh, with uh, one of the O5, uh, Driller from O five one. I did an interview with him. I was telling him about. It. He like, nah, you can't underestimate nobody. Now, the shorty, he looked like Chris Brown. He was a savage <laughs> type shit. Especially not these white ends out here. Yeah, these young niggas, they ain't playing. Yeah, you 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 from that era though. Like, you in that generation, bro. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that. Man, oh, it's crazy. Why is out here with those switches, boy? Yeah. Those switches of AIPs and shit. 
Yeah. You, how you feel? Okay, so a lot of people would be like, with this. That, that, oh, no, I thought that was a lot. So how you feel about the, um, okay, the switches? Some people be like, the shirties, they around here with these switches. They don't know how to shoot them up. Uh, they they kill innocent kids. I ain't gonna lie. That is true, though. Some niggas don't know how to use them, but they just be shooting them. But I don't know. I, Hold it. Tune in. <laughs> they be. Bro, chill. <laughs> Yo, ass tweaking, boy. Say harder with two hands, alright. Oh, the guys, these mm. niggas be out here tweaking, boy. Alright, so we seen uh, ben, uh, Bando KD. He was popping right now. That's an example. I was just. That's an example. He allegedly right got there, booked for the short. He did get booked for the short. He allegedly killed, but we don't know that he innocent to prove. Yeah, hey, we don't own fun. We really Rest in peace to that baby girl, really though, because that's sad. We don't know what's going on. So. Yeah. We don't want to you know. That should be a sad, though. No? Yeah, yeah. So what about the females? Like, do you did, did you lose any females that you grew up with? Like, damn, like damn, Shreddy got caught in a crossfire or something. She was with love folks. Oh, what? We lost the girl D Money. Shit, that's about it. Hmm. That's about the only girl phone on really. Oh, uh, D Money around is a girl? now. Yeah, no, it's two D Money. We got okay. a boy D Money and a girl D Money. Okay. So like around my area, folk like a girl where I only only the girl D Money type shit. That's about it. Mm. What, what happened with her? She got caught in a crossfire or she, she was with that shit? You know how that shit, you know how that shit be. Yeah. yeah, we ain't got to tweak on it. No, I ain't no. Long live, long live to her. You know that. Nah, for sure. For sure. All right, so let me ask you this. So we was talking about Bando KD. So when when that news hit, where it was like, damn, shorty, like you you had a wave. You was going, then. I ain't a lot of look at that shit. I'm like, damn. You got to think about it, though. He ain't get caught till like two, three years later. That yeah. shit. They're like this shit real, boy. They not playing. Police ain't playing out here, boy. Yeah, I had heard too. His co defendants got booked right then, so yeah, they got booked. So maybe somebody yeah, told them. No, them. Come on, man. Yeah, Come yeah, on, corporate. Yeah, you know yeah, them niggas, niggas snitches, man. Them niggas telling. Putting two and two together. I you don't gotta know. put two and two together. Two yeah. and two together. That shit go like this. Yeah, equal While photo. you look at it, you damn. Yeah, equal photo. That's a fact, though. We can't get around that. All right, so. That's real shit, though, Legi. All right, so let me say this. You know, when we did the interview with Lil Mikey, you was on the couch. They was like, man, I was folks quiet. don't want to talk. I was quiet. I ain't gonna lie. You was chilling. Look, Corporate, let me tell you this. You popping your shit how right now, we though. Was, how long we was with us that day, folks? We was together all day. Like, yeah. they, they, was, they was saying, like, y'all was bullying me and smoke shit, G. Shorty, oh my dead homie, but we in the studio from where we go that bitch. It was in the daytime, and we, we ain't nigga. leave. I ain't leave y'all till like it was midnight. Or nigga, something. you ain't leave us till like twelve o'clock. Yeah. I'm like dead grandma for. Mm -hmm. We was we we had fun that night. I was really on some, I was really on some calm shit for. I ain't, I ain't had no chill. more. You know, I ain't had nothing else I wanted to talk about. And the put, I lost all my voice from rapping for. Like I ain't really. Then you got yeah. you see you got little Mikey on the side and yeah. be trolling. <laughs> folks don't really supposed to be with me right now. That's why I'm really mad. Yeah. Molo ass, man. He takes me right now. What are you on right now? He took a one, man. Man, watch out. Watch out, brother. Nah, I want to get up with Molo, too. Molo don't want to talk, though, do he? He got to pop his shit, too. I got to get up with little folks, man. Yeah, man. yeah. Oh, then, man. He was rapping, too, shit. Sure, oh, he got some shit on the way. Ain't gonna lie. Mm. Ride right through the city with Glock. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Folks got some shit on the way. Yeah, yeah, I was in there when y'all recorded that. That you was fun. So. Recently, the spa shooter contract expired with Chicago. If it been fucked up since then, because I heard like you know what I mean. It been I fucked ain't gonna lie, they fucked up for doing that for taking the shot spot off. <laughs> yeah, it, treasure is out here, that. Yeah, oh, like, it's like yeah, you gotta get the you gotta get that call. You gotta get them calls, not police. Yeah, they gotta <laughs> call y'all now. They gotta, yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> they gotta call y'all now. But it been, but it been fucked up since then. A little more fucked up. Have yeah, you like, the they, they that fucked up taking the shot spot at all. The yeah. trenches go, they go turn up. Yeah. They go turn up, yeah. They go turn up. Oh my dear, bro. They go turn up. Yeah. I, I, I can see that. I agree with that. I see the headlines. You, for you, the spot shooting shit happened or whatever, it getting a little trenches. How you surviving the rack since then, bro? Like, is this the same old shit or is it? I ain't gonna lie, like, me personally, the rack, it's a regular day. Just move smart. You know, no is a no, yes is a yes. You know, you get that feeling, you got that feeling, don't go. That's mm -hmm. just how I, that's just how I am, you know? So you moving off intuition. Yeah, you know what intuition is, I right? really, I really move off my feeling. Yeah, that's if your I'm, feeling. Like, if I don't, yeah, you see, like, if I don't move, like, if I don't feel that shit, I ain't going. You no, know, I respect that. So, um, you got any tips for people that, that come to the rack that, all right, so how you survive? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just- Mind your fucking business for all these. 
Niggas be coming from other space, dick riding so I mind your fucking business on tape, mind your business. Stay in your fucking lane. Yeah. If you go be cool with that nigga, just be cool with that nigga. Don't be dick riding that nigga. All oh, that lame man shit. Yeah. All oh, you goofy ass niggas be coming from different states to get out of that. That way ass would get robbed fucking with us. <laughs> My dead homie, boy. So let me ask you this then. <laughs> My boy. And let me ask you this then, because we was just talking about Billy earlier. Shout out to GG yeah. and T Dubs. Yeah, now, shout out folks. Now Billy said that in the song you was dissing Screwly G from Indiana. Now Screwly G popping right now, whatever, whatever. He said, man, I ain't got to be GD with y'all. Man, he, this ass, those goofy dicks. What's your feeling about him dissing Duck and then just him going back and forth with Billy? I don't and know for all that. that that's, that's, that's dick around shit. Niggas be goofy. But niggas go do what they do for. You can't you can't stop niggas from doing what they doing for. But only thing it is, for all that dick around shit, I ain't, I, we don't condone that shit. Man. Yeah. On Gusto, we don't condone that shit. All that lame man shit. You go be who you is, folks. Fuck with who you fuck with, for don't bring up for them. That that's for some clout, what's some fame, for we ain't we ain't know none of that. Yeah. We ain't we ain't know none of that goofy ass shit. So that's how you took that, okay? Know that for sure, for sure. So what what was Duck influence on the hood? Like, did you fuck with Duck? Cause he I ain't gonna lie, for folks was a real one. For my, I saw folks a couple times. Folks was a real. One. Mm. Folks you got any memories of him? When you met him or something, it was like I met him on Epperhart. Yeah, when he came through and it was like, oh, this Doug, he was a star by then. Photo, photo was out here shooting a video. Photo was out here shooting a video. This yeah. bitch was bust. Folks yeah. giving all us, folks giving all the little guys money. Yeah. Folks out, outside passing out hundreds. Mm. My brother. Mm. Say Doug was a real one. Hello, no. Yeah, that's fine. Folks the real one. No, that's that's what's up. All right, so uh, man, you know. Um, you say you got four, three, four songs in the chamber. Like you, 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 you chasing that though. Like that's what you're doing. Hey, yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna get on this, uh, this music shit bad. Yeah. If I don't want me to push this shit, I'm finna push this shit. You got talent. Now, I want to say this when I see you in the studio. I want to say this. I don't know if it was insult to you. I said you remind me a little more, a young guy yeah. that's in it, that's been from it, and it's like that's talking that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, was that an insult to you or was it like? Nah, that's, that's just how you feel. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't feel no type of way for that. That's just how you feel. You speak your mind. Yeah. You can't yeah. get mad all the time. For every lame shit, I ain't gonna lie to you. For I sure. had to learn that shit the hard way. Mm. Usually, bro, back then, if I would've got mad at that shit, bro. Mm. Cause I compared it to it. Yeah. But me getting older, shit, you just asking questions for yeah. It really was praise you know though. That? I was giving you praise cause I, I look at Lil Mo like he got talent and, you know he, and I respect this gangster. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, you know what I'm saying? You know so, that. For sure. All right, so man, I ain't gonna lie, man. So, so you said you pushing the music. Um, y'all crack crazy records. You know that for sure. Crack crazy records coming soon. Going in hard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shout out, Lil Mikey, man. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. So, man, like, man, uh, you know, you you got any like um, statements you want to give or say like to the you know you got the, you got the flow like what's up like man like, look man I ain't gonna lie for stay at school bro all that this, this street shit not it bro. You go jump in the streets, your ass go uh, float. You ain't, your ass go, you ain't go float. Your ass go drown for sure. This mm. shit not easy. Mm. Or oh, this shit not hard, but this shit not it. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. This shit is not it you at all, folks. You being an 18 year old having that perspective, I respect it, man. Know that, folks. You know what I'm saying? On anything. On my mom, like, so outside of Lil Mike, you got other older guys in your ear where it's like, look, bro, go this way, go that way. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I really can't say their name, but. You don't got to say nobody's name. You know who the fuck you is, B. Shout out, shout out that, shout out folks. Mm -hmm. Shout out that nigga that, that been here since day one on my dead grandma. He know who I'm talking about. Shout out Sly. Shout out, out shout out Fedris, nigga. Fuck you talking about. Mm -hmm. My dead homie, nigga. Shout out Fedris, nigga. Yeah. Both on, nigga. Fuck you, turn out. For niggas sure. know, niggas know how my slime them come. I ain't even gotta say their names. Just shout out Fed just now. Yeah, know that for sure, for sure. I respect that, man. So, all right, man. Like, you know, shout out your social medias and all that. We gonna wrap it up. Gusto Gang, Lil G, man. Shout out Corey Cartel. He coming to trench as fuck with me, man. Hey, look, we ain't check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah. My dear, we really in a trench and on my dead grandma. Fuck like Corey. Show yeah. where we at. Yeah. Show where we at. We on Everhard on tape. We is in a gangway. Type shit. Everhard in a gangway, bleed. On my uncle. Type shit. And play with it. Play with it. This bitch gonna go down. <laughs> like my boy. Oh, yeah, I got folks in the chest with me, though. You know? Oh, That's yeah. his favorite spot, though. Yeah, you know I'm fucking.
I fuck with him, my guy, that. man. All right, man. But like I say, like with that, we gonna wrap it up, man. Love like, you, where, where, like where they can find you at? Yeah, like, you know, the fans tap. they tapping in from London. They tapping in from uh, UK. Hey, look on on Instagram, you can find me at Gusto Game Lil G. On Facebook, you can find me at Gusto A Lil G. My dear brother, that's all. Shout out Corporate Quartier, my boy came to the trenches and fuck with me. You know that type shit for you sure, my guy.